All right, uh, hello everyone. Um, this is a short video that describes how to reprocess your OpenFab data. So the idea is that, so that you collected data a little while ago, and uh, later we pushed some new features and uh, you wished you could use those new features uh, with the data you collected before. Well, the good news is that it's, it's actually possible so you can reprocess your data locally while uh, leveraging uh, new features we might have uh, pushed after you collected the data. So the goal of this uh, short video is to show you how to do that uh, practically. So here is an example. So that's a, a open cap data collection session, and you can see that I have a bunch of trials. Um, and if I played a trial uh, named uh, test, uh, you can see that the, the results are not fantastic. So especially like now, if I uh, pose and I look at the skeleton, it doesn't really match what I'm doing here in the videos. Um, so let's try to reprocess uh, this data locally while uh, leveraging some of the latest features we pushed uh, to OpenCAP. So you might know that OpenCAP is open source and uh, the core algorithms are part of this uh, GitHub repo named OpenCAP Core. So I cloned uh, this repo on my machine. Uh, it's here, so I've opened Cap Core. I named it Open Cap Core App. It doesn't really matter. And as part of uh, the, the repo, there is a folder named Example. And if you go in there, there are two files that we're going to uh, use to reprocess the data. So the first one is named uh, Change Session Metadata, and the second one is named uh, Reprocess uh, Sessions. So I'm gonna show you how to make use of these uh, scripts to reprocess your data. But let's first uh, take a look at uh, the data after you download them on your machine. So I've done that already. Uh, I get this folder with like the marker data, the open some data, the videos, etc. If you open this file named the session metadata, uh, you can see some of the settings that were used uh, when you process the data and uh, two, Two of them are uh, relevant for today. One is named uh, Augmenter Model, and you can see that the model that was used is V0.2, V0 and the OpenSIM model we used is uh, this one, so LAY RH 2022. So uh, recently we pushed uh, newer versions of these two models. So we have a new model, uh, a new Augmenter model named uh, V0.3, and we have a new OpenSIM model named LayerRich2022 underscore uh, shoulder. So we're gonna update the settings of our session and reprocess the data. So how can you do that? Well, we're gonna make use of the two scripts uh, I showed earlier. So here I'm opening um, Visual Studio Code, which is the, the software I use for uh, coding uh, usually. And uh, I've used those two, I have uh, opened those two scripts already. So you see that I'm now in change session metadata.py. And there is some instructions, but basically you see that we have different available options for the metadata. For the OpenSea model, we can use two models. So this one was the one uh, that had been used to collect the data. And this is the other option, which is in a more advanced uh, model with a more expressi expressive shoulder model. For the augmenter model, we have um, V2, uh, which is the default model, the one that has been um, incorporated in OpenCAP since we released the software. And the latest uh, model we uh, just released is uh, V3. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna update the settings. We're gonna uh, use uh, this model, so the one underscore shoulder, and we're gonna use this later marker augmenter uh, model. So how do we do that? Well, we should do uh, the two things uh, here. So first, um, add your uh, session ID here. So you can find the session ID uh, as part of the URL of your session. So if I copy this uh, ID here, I'll, I'll put it here. It's actually the same because I've done that already. And then I'm gonna say, okay, my OpenSIM model should be Layer rich 2022 underscore shoulder, and my augmenter model should be V0.3. So after to do that, after uh, doing that, you can uh, run this script. So I'm using a terminal for that. 
So I'm going to run a change session metadata. And it should update the metadata. So you should see that uh, the results have been posted to S3. Uh, you don't really need to know what it means, but it basically means that the database uh, has been updated. All right, so this is done. It means that the metadata have been updated on the database. Now we can actively reprocess the, the data. To do that, we have this script uh, called reprocess sessions, uh, the PI. There is a lot of instructions there that we recommend you reading. But basically what we should do is first um, insert the uh, ID of your session here. This is already the good one. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, reprocess this test trial. So there are three uh, things here that you can uh, change. We don't wanna change the calibration because it was already good, so uh, we use empty brackets. We wanna reprocess the static trial because we're gonna use a different musculoskeletal model and a different marker augmenter model. So we set it to known. And we only wanna reprocess, for the sake of this example, the trial uh, named a test. So we have a, a list with only one um, entry here and it, it's named test. So there are some uh, other settings you can adjust. Um, part of them is the uh, resolution at which you want open pose to work. And here we're gonna use the same resolution as the one that is being used by uh, OpenCAP. It's uh, one uh, time uh, uh, 736, all right? So that's the one we're using here. So after we do that, we can just uh, run this script uh, locally, so which is what I'm gonna do now. And it might take a little while, uh, but it's gonna reprocess all the data. So first, what it's doing is that it's downloading some data from the database. It's going to reprocess the neutral trial. So you see that no open pose is uh, running. Um, there are two videos, so it's running twice. And you can see as part of the, of the text here that it is using augmenter model version uh, 0 0.3. So that's, that's good, that's what we want. All right, so it's almost done uh, scaling now. So it's gonna upload the model, the new scaled model to the database. And uh, then it's gonna start uh, processing uh, the trial named test. The good thing is that I processed the trial before, so I do not need to rerun open post. It's gonna leverage uh, my files uh, already, so it's gonna go a bit faster. Again, it's using augmenter model v3, so that's good, and it's running inverse kinematics now. Uh, it might take a, a few seconds because it's a quite long uh, trial, but uh, once it is done, it's gonna push the uh, data back to the database, and you should see that uh, the motion looks much better uh, on the web application. Uh, while it's, it's busy, just want to mention that to be able to run this script, uh, you need to uh, follow the instructions on uh, the OpenCAP core GitHub repo so that you can install all the things that are necessary. So just uh, read what is here, running the pipeline locally. There are some hardware and uh, software requirements. Uh, hopefully everything works uh, smooth on your machine. All right, it's still busy uh, running inverse kinematics. <coughs> uh, so let's wait a, a few more seconds. All right, it's done. Uh, it is posting the results uh, on the database. All right, and it's, uh, it's done uh, running. So now if we go back to the web app, so this is what we used to have. If I click again on tests, it should load the latest results. And yeah, it looks much nicer now. So uh, that looks good. So this is an example of how you can uh, reprocess your data locally while uh, leveraging uh, some of the latest features of OpenCAP. And so now you can also just uh, download the data and move on with your analysis. Thanks for listening.